Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a how to survive high school video. I have notes on my phone right here so I'll remember what to talk about because I promise remembering things. But let's get started. Oh my god, I literally have breathing issues when I talk so if you see me like taking a lot of deep breaths, I don't know, like I forget to breathe when I talk a lot so <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, so first I'm going to just talk about like my experience in high school because like I know the title of the video is How to Survive Base High School, and if you ask- oh, oh no, oh no! Okay, I'm back. I don't know, my camera is literally, like, not working. Okay, so, anyways, um, if you ask me how to survive high school, I would probably reply with the answer that you cannot survive high school. Like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you guys, high school sucks. It is such a toxic place with toxic people and like everyone like you just like think too much in your head about yourself and like you feel well this is just my experience I don't know if it'll apply to you but I'm sure it will you just feel like you just can't be yourself you can't be, you're just like not good enough for anybody you'll meet amazing people like you will meet some of the best friends of your life in high school like I know I have but you will also meet some of the worst people in your life but I believe that everyone comes into your life for a reason so like snip snip if you don't want a toxic person in your life then simply cut them out like I cannot emphasize this enough for anyone so anyways my freshman year um like I just feel like I didn't know what to expect like I remember the day before high school I was like I went over to my friend's house and we were like freaking out together and we were like oh my god high school but like I didn't have in my head like what high school truly meant. I still had a Yeah? Okay. Maybe <laughs> the first tip I have for you guys is number one, don't act like a freshman. <laughs> and like obviously I'm guessing if you're watching this video you guys are freshmen, so this is gonna be a little bit hard for you. But just like don't do anything that's like noticeably that you are of a younger of a lower maturity or are younger because like let me be honest with you sophomores juniors seniors they will hate you they everyone hates freshmen that is unavoidable but so for me I like to carry binders freshman year that is a very middle school thing to do but I still did it because I had my big winter jacket in my bag and there was no room for my binders so I was like oh I'm going to class now with like 10 binders in my hand and that was just like really pathetic and like so dumb of me to do but they, they literally just like wouldn't fit in my backpack so like gotta do what you gotta do but I'm guessing that you guys can avoid that by just stuffing them in your bag get a big backpack because you will need a big backpack <laughs> okay don't walk slow literally that's such a freshman thing to do walking slow like and like I know you want to talk to your friends in the hallway and like go ahead do that but like maybe walk at a normal pace so that's something you can do to avoid annoying stairs people pushing past you it will happen so don't do that <laughs> So my sister, she's gonna be a freshman next year and she just came in with a notepad. So yeah, I can just text you these tips. <laughs> or you can watch my video. Hey. <laughs> okay, and the last tip for don't act like freshman is, okay, my school gives you a map because I it's kind of a big school. Don't use the map. Study it the night before, but do not walk around like, oh, I wonder where my next class is. Woo like, no, <laughs> don't use a map. And like, I mean, just ask for help. Like, people want to help you. They don't want you to be like, I know it's scary asking like an upperclassman, but I did it because you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, people, teachers hate it when you're late for class. Like, they will get mad. So even like first month, they understand you're still trying to figure out where the school is, but just ask for help if you need it. Like, it's just, avoid so many issues. Okay, the second tip I have for you is reach out to new people as early as you can. Got that, Sophia? Okay, so, so for my school, two middle schools went into the high school, so I knew like half my period, and then there was another half of the grade that I did not know. So what I do, the very shy person that I am, I don't really, I hate like talking to new people first. Like I need someone to come talk to me before I'm able to talk to them. Like I do not go up to people first, that's just not what I do. But that is what you guys are gonna do, right? Right. <laughs> So we had dope messed up my camera! I was nodding my head. 
Okay, anyways, talk to new people as early as you can. Make friends, strike up a conversation, be like, oh, how's high school going for you? Be like, oh, what's up? Like, how's your classes? What teachers do you have? Anyone, meet anyone cool? I don't know. In the hallway you say this? No, like in your classes. Well, then obviously you know they have the same class as you. Other classes, you might know they have one class as you. So, yes! Yeah, this is my video! <laughs> Anyways, like, just, like, try to make friends, because obviously, like, just, like, try to, like, figure out your people, because I'm guessing the people you have in middle school are not going to be your friends in high school. <laughs> You're going to switch friend groups every single year, like, things happen, so, like, just try to figure out and have a feel for people as early as you can, and, and just, like, test the waters a little bit in high school. It's going to help you so much. Okay, next tip for you. Teachers are there to help you and they want you to succeed and they are not out to get you. So, for a hot second, I'm gonna contradict myself. <laughs> oh, this is not funny, sorry. Okay, so I had this one teacher in junior year. I'm not gonna say her name, but she... <laughs> oh, you don't even know what I'm talking but about. I have a hatred for this teacher. Grr. Okay, so... There are some teachers who are out to get you. Like this one. <laughs> it's very rare. But this teacher, I was having a stressful week. I turned in this one paper. And this is not English or history class. Just saying. Anyways, I turned in this oh. one paper. And there was some proofreading mistakes. Not gonna lie, I forgot to proofread it. So yeah, there were a couple spelling errors. Some grammatical mistakes. It happens. Life happens. And my teacher pulls me aside. She's like and I'm like <laughs> what's up and she's like Maya this is unacceptable I literally cannot tell what you're trying to say here I can't read this paper this is so pathetic I'm giving you an F and I was like hmm, what? what and I'm like oh boom 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 you want to fight so yeah she gave me an F and then the same teacher um she I made a mistake in this little lab okay yes it was a science class <laughs> <laughs> Okay, in this lab, and she was like, oh my, this is not correct, I'm giving you a zero, but you have a chance to correct it yourself, and return it to me for full credit, so I was like, okay, bet, so I corrected it myself, and she was like, oh, it's still wrong, you still get a zero, but it was more right than before, so like, half credit, no, half credit didn't exist for her, so yeah, basically that teacher was out to get me, but... For the most part, teachers are there to help you, and teachers are very nice. Like, you may think that they're mean and they're evil and everything, but they are so sweet, and they just want you to succeed, and they want to help you, especially science, English teachers, not science. English teachers are literally the sweetest people ever, like, every single one of my English teachers. They're, like, such a mom, and they're just, like, there for you to provide you with love and support. Maybe this is just my experience. They want to help you, even just, like, with your life outside of class and everything. Thing. They want to give you extra credit when, so like ask for extra credit too. Chances are teachers are there to provide you with extra points for doing something a little additional. And yes, basically love your teachers. Chances are they love you too. They're like teachers honestly they don't get paid that much like if they didn't love what they do then why are they teaching like they love their jobs and they want to help students so yes anyways that's the tea back to balance learn how to balance everything because you will get very overwhelmed chances are you will have so much on your plate like obviously you want to hang out with your friends but you also have to do homework and then maybe you have an extracurricular like a sport or something and then maybe you also have trying to make some little cash some coin you know and you have a job too and like you're like how do I do it all so how do you do it all um I don't know <laughs> I still haven't figured that out for myself but what I've learned is do things in moderation like obviously get as much homework as you can done I do not advise you to spend hours and hours on homework each night. Like, tell your teacher, te once again, teachers are there to help you. If you tell them, give them an email before and say, I had so much to do last night, I am sorry, I just could not get this homework done. Chances are they will give you an extension. Don't be afraid to ask for extensions. I was not, and teachers usually came through for me. So if you have a lot of extracurriculars, 
say oh like I had this big thing last night and then or I had to work really late and I just had a lot of other homework due too and it was just really tough say that also if you have a lot of tests one night um chances are you can get another test like pushed back like there are some days where you had three tests in a row one day at school tell your teacher and say I have two other tests that I have to take can I get take this one next week chances there is a rule at my school you can't take three more than three tests in one day so just try and usually teachers will be like okay you can take it in a couple of days or whatever so you have time to study like study for your test kids it really does help um, Quizlet was there for me, Quizlet will be there for you too, or however you want to study, that was just worked well for me, but anyways, back to balance, balance. <laughs> Just another tip join clubs, please do it. Please, 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 please join clubs. Like, that's not, I just did not do that. Like, freshman, well, I did one club, but that was only because my friend started the club. Like, I was too scared to go to a new club and be like, hey, can I join? Like, I did not do that, but you should do that. Take a friend with you if you want, if you're too scared to go in there alone. Have a friend and do like join whatever club you want. There are so many clubs at school, there was like a hundred clubs in my school and like I didn't feel like getting involved in anything. I did later on but freshman year is the best time to make join clubs because that's where maybe you'll find your friend group. Maybe because like club in clubs like it's the people who have same experiences as you, same like um <laughs> as you I can't speak English and those are people who maybe you'll connect with maybe you'll bond with maybe you'll bond with and like it just makes so much sense so join clubs because I joined a business club and I found so many friends through that business club I joined that sophomore year though and I wish I joined freshman year I also joined track sophomore year which okay um I'm just not an athlete. I really wanted to like do a sport and whatever and like big mistake but I did meet some great people in track so I mean there is that plus like no matter what club you do whether it's a sport, an academic club, a social club, a charity club you'll make friends in there because like it's just such a squad and such a community so I if you want like to just meet new people like I think clubs are the best way to meet new people and do something either for a good cause or just do something you love and just to laugh and have a good time and like everyone wins so join a club okay next tip um put mental and physical health over academics please do it or you will literally stress yourself out and you will literally just like not have a good time if you are sick do not do your homework if you literally have a fever and you your mom's like oh you gotta go to school next day it's not a big deal don't study for that test tell your teacher you are not feeling good the night before and give it get an extension like if you are sick may just focus on getting yourself healthy and better before you're like doing homework or something because I remember sometimes when I was sick and I'd miss like three days of school prior and like the third day I still had like a big cold but I was so worried about getting all my homework done and I was literally in bed like dying like start trying to do homework and like first of all you could tell I was sick I literally like have no idea what I, what I even said and then mental health over phys over everything like if you're like crying in bed don't do your homework <laughs> like I <laughs> doesn't make sense like if you are not having a good day if you're not feeling it just don't do your homework like you don't always have to do your homework like I know teachers might get a little bit upset but like if you're just not having a good day if you are just crying if you are sick if anything bad is happening to you and you're like oh I just can't do it anymore don't focus on school focus on making yourself healthy happy and everything like that because that is how you stay true to yourself and that is how you make sure you present positive vibes to everybody and <laughs> so, just, just be, happy. be happy okay next tip remember this is similar tests and grades don't measure your self-worth let me repeat that Tests and grades don't measure your self-worth. Woo! If you get a bad grade on... Okay, first of all, I know so many people that were like, don't be this person. Oh my god, I got a 90. I hate my life! <laughs> don't be that person. I hate you. I hate people like that. If you got 90, woo! 
good for you. If you get an 85, good for you. If you get a 70, good for you. Like, I don't even care. If you get whatever you get, you worked for that grade. And it, it just matters the effort you put in. Try hard, obviously. But uh -huh. if you do bad on something, like a test or a homework assignment or anything, don't cry about it. Like, please don't. It's like, if you worked hard for something, maybe you didn't achieve what you wanted, but okay, you can try harder next time. Or you can talk to your teacher. Like, there are always ways to raise your grade. And if you get, like, a bad grade sometime, it's not the end of the world. Truly, it really is not. If you get a bad grade, your life is not over. Like, nothing is over, okay? You're gonna be okay. Everything good is gonna happen. Everything, like, happens because it does I don't really know like life has its way of working itself out so bad grades bad test grades bad homework grades bad anything grades it is not something to cry about it's not something to lose no sleep over because there are always ways to raise your grades okay freshman year counts it is not a year to BS everything okay like freshman year counts so much I know a lot of people would tell me oh my god it doesn't count like it's fine your GPA doesn't count or anything it counts like if we're talking in the retrospect of college they will be looking at your freshman year grades so if you're getting all D's and you're like, oh, it doesn't count though, like it doesn't matter for college, it counts. Colleges recalculate your grades with your freshman year GPA. Most do, so um, basically like freshman year grades count into your GPA in the long run. So if you're thinking about college, which if you're a freshman, like you have no reason to think about college yet. <laughs> So yeah, but basically work hard freshman year, like try to get good grades, do as good as you can, honestly, and everything's gonna be okay, actually. Okay, so my last tip is don't change yourself to satisfy anyone's needs, expectations, or to fit in with a specific group of people. So basically, be yourself. Like, I know that is like, oh, obviously I'm gonna be myself. <laughs> what are you talking about, Maya? But I know that there are people you probably wanna be friends with and you feel like you have to change yourself, but like, don't change yourself. Because if they don't like you for who you are, then they have no right to like you, <laughs> okay? <laughs> be yourself, and they're bad people, okay? And don't change yourself to satisfy anyone's needs. If someone wants you to change, someone wants you to be a different type of person that you're not comfortable with, then don't. Then cut them off. Snip, snip, snip. 2019, we cutting these people out. <laughs> Okay, that is my last tip. If you have any more questions, please, please slide into my DMs or write them, comment down below. Hi, oh my god, I forgot to end off the video, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all that jazz, and literally, I want to help you so much. I want to help you succeed. I want you to have a great freshman year, and I want you guys to be happy, like amazing human beings like you are. Um, yeah, please. Please just let me know any questions you have. I want to help you succeed and everything. So yes, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next vid. Love you.